Well, first of all, uh, uh, the the talk that um, you know has been around is that the the American consulate on David Flusser Street, which is the newest uh, installation of the uh, American consulate, uh, would probably over time become uh, the embassy. And in fact, um, you know, as you said uh, in your opening report, since 1995, for 22 years, uh, the United States Congress has passed the Jerusalem Embassy Act. And for various political reasons, uh, American presidents, uh, Republican, Democratic, both have, have uh, signed the six-month waiver. President Trump has, uh, has really Take an historic decision if if the decision is, is in fact taken as it's been reported in Washington to keep his own campaign promises to his own constituency to the American people and recognize Israel as the capital uh, of the nation state of the Jewish people of Israel which it has been in two commonwealths frankly for the last three thousand years and since 1948 in the current uh, state of Israel so he's but does not he, ignore the reality on the ground for hundreds of thousands of Arabs who call Jerusalem home the expectation of a, of the two-state solution working towards that you know something we met, we've met with uh, leaders of the um, of the Arab community, uh, East Jerusalemites, and privately, what uh, we hear at the Jerusalem Center, and and it's not just anecdotal; it's uh, it's research that we've conducted, is that uh, there is great popularity for this move among the Arab community in East Jerusalem who have been waiting for a much more defined political status uh, since 1967. And there is overwhelming popularity and interest among the Arab community in East Jerusalem for Israel to officially be recognized by the United States, which they believe will be one step further uh, to, uh, to their uh, having more uh, and more uh, permanently recognized political status in Jerusalem. And for Israelis, all Israelis, it basically is is just recognizing a de facto and de jure, from an Israeli point of view, um, a status and profile for Israel's capital city. But it's a reality on the ground. It's a reality on the ground. This, look, let's be very clear, Jeff. Israel is the only country in modern history that whose own claim, its own capital, has not been recognized by some, by, for, strictly for political and security uh, and other reasons by, uh, by many other people uh, in the UN system. And, it, and for all Israeli governments, left, center and right, it's been an inexcusable um, status quo. And President Trump has taken a courageous decision that other presidents had wanted to take, but at the last minute got cold feet, and he's finally uh, saying to the Palestinian Authority, hey, enough is enough. No more demonization of Jerusalem, no more paying the terrorists, no more BDS, Cap Israel's the capital of Israel, and we want to have a peace process at the same time.